So every major programming language also has functions. That a function is basically a way of wrapping a block of code, like a series of lines of code, to reuse them later. So this one, for example, right now, it's a function that it's called use is odd. Because you, go, you always have to start by saying function. There's another way, but right now we're going to talk about this one. So it's function, and then my name, whatever, like let's say get time, and then you open and close parentheses, and here you would specify if it needs any input or not. Like for example, is odd needs a number because you want to know if that number is odd or not, and you want to return true or false depending on if the number is odd or not. But get time doesn't need any input because you can get the time without having any inputs. And you can just return here a new date, and it will probably get the time. Let's console.log that and see. Console.log. So to call a function, you do the same that you did to define it, but you remove the function and the content of the function because you're not redeclaring really it. You just put this part here. So let's just do it like that and let's run it and we should get the current time and a timestamp basically. So if get time needed any input, I could put it here. Like let's say that my input was going to be A. I would have to put here the value of A. So 23 for example. So taking that into account, we can here is telling us that we should call the function is odd. So let's call the function. Remember, calling the function is similar to declaring it, but putting the word uh, without putting the word function, and then without putting the content of the function because it's already declared. I'm just calling it, and by by assigning a value to these variables that are going to be later when the function is in in within its scope, it's executing. So it's odd has to be called with this one. So let me call it with this one and let's try and see what happens. Everything good. You know that it's the it printed true on the console because it is an odd, an odd number. If I console.log here you can also see what value of my number was. Look, this is my number. You can pass two variables, two parameters to console log. It's a function that receives two variables or two parameters. It could receive one or two or more, I think. But it, I normally use two because I want to see what I'm console logging. Because when you're console logging many things, you get lost. So basically, I always put a variable or a string at the beginning just to, need to see what I'm console logging. So if I run it again, you'll see that this is my number and the number. So you can see here that whatever I type here after the is odd, whatever I put as a value, will get replaced by a variable name and then I will I can use that variable later and I know that it will contain a particular type of value like a like an integer or like a number and that's how you use a function